Howdy folks, welcome back to my channel. You can see I'm in kind of some winter garb today because we are right on the tail end of the Texas blackouts of 2021. By the time that you see this video, that's gonna be old news because this probably won't go live for another couple of weeks. But um, we had a massive power outage in Texas. Uh, many, many, millions and millions of people were without power and the temperatures dipped into, low, into negative temperatures, which is extremely rare in the state of Texas. So it's been a very bad few days um, sleeping in front of the fireplace. It was 38 degrees inside my house a couple days ago, inside my house with the fire going. So it's been a tough few days, but we persevere. And that's not what I'm here to talk about. I'm here to talk about a different aspect of Texas that involves this cigar box guitar right here. So what this is, is this is my entry in the Texas Triangle Builder Swap. So what that is, myself and a couple other builders from Texas, myself in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, um, Steve Strings in uh, the San Antonio area, and another builder, uh, Bob, in the um, Houston area. And those three cities form what's called the Texas Triangle. And what we decided to do is we're all going to build a guitar to commemorate Texas's birthday and then essentially pass them around the triangle. So. This build will go to, to Houston, the Houston build will go to San Antonio, and the San Antonio build will come to me. And we'll each do a video of our build that we made and then our build that we receive. And by the time that this posts, you've already seen what I've received, but this is my video about what I made. So I'm just gonna go over it real quick with everybody. I kind of thought about it, I was like, what do I wanna do you know, to commemorate Texas and to be my style? And so I decided, opposed to building something that was very much a cosmetic, cigar box guitar, I want it to be a player's guitar because I'm basically known more for my cigar box playing than building. So that's what I thought about as I built this thing. So every function of it, I tried to make it with the player's sense in mind. So for instance, if you look at this headstock, you can see the headstock's what we generally call a reverse, meaning the tuning keys are on the bottom, which this is the be this is the right way to do a headstock. And I know that normally my builds don't have that, the ones behind me don't have that, and the majority of the cigar box guitar builds are not done in this way. But this is the right way because the physics would dictate that the lowest string on the instrument should be the longest string, which should mean you would need a reverse headstock like this to pull that off. Now that matters more as you get into lower tones, and that's why sometimes you might have seen like a symphony orchestra and the bass player will have that little pulley system up here. Its only function is to make the low string string longer and that's why because you want the lowest string on the instrument to be the longest string on the instrument ideally again it doesn't make a lot of difference as you get into the higher keys but I just thought hey it's player let's do that second of all we got a Corian nut and what's ironic about this is Bob who is the builder this is going to actually gave me this piece of Corian a couple years ago and uh, now it's gonna get used on his build um, it's got a fretted neck here 25 inch scale this pickup that's in it, this is a 12 bar blues pickup. I got this at the Pennsylvania Cigar Box Guitar Festival and I've been waiting for the right time to use it. So it went in here, it's a great sounding pickup, fantastic. And I tried out, the guy had a setup where you could try out all of his pickups and this is the one I picked out. And I uh, really like that. It's got a bridge I made myself just out of some, uh, I think this was maple, pretty sure this was maple. And I added strap buttons because again, I'm a player. I like to stand up and play or, you know, do whatever. So I want them strap buttons on there. And then because of the strap buttons, let's see if you can see this here. There you go. The strap button is on the back part of the box and the neck is on the front part of the box. So I didn't want the hinges on the box to take all that stress. So you can see, I put a couple screws in here and uh, so those go right into the neck and then same thing on the top so that the whole thing is very, very solid. So you can like throw this thing and it's not gonna come apart. It's very, very solid. So this, and it does have a really nice acoustic sound. It's probably not in tune right now. I tune this one up FCF and I really, really like the way this plays in FCF. It seems to really suit the guitar well. Sounds great, plays pretty good. It's got a really nice um, action here. It's got a really nice uh, fret action. Everything feels really good. I uh, got a, a set of uh, GHS strings on there. So th uh, three of the strings off of a um, standard six string guitar pack. Uh, the decoupage they've done the back with the state of Texas there. And um, it's funny, the other builder that I mentioned that is in uh, the San Antonio area, Steve Strings, he actually is the one that showed me how to do this decoupage uh, technique. So I actually used his technique. So everything's just kind of a big symbiont. One other interesting thing I wanted to note here. So, you know, when I was putting this together, there were some logos, there's always a few logos. And so I sand most of them off to make it look pretty. So you can just kind of see the remains of some of those logos there that I sanded off. 
And I went to go sand this one off, and I noticed this box was made on Texas's birthday. I can't sand that off. So it's just a little added, um, you know, added little thing there, March 2nd, 2017. So this box was actually made, or the cigars in it, whichever it was, were actually made on Texas's birthday. So I was like, oh, I have to, I have to leave that on there. So after I decoupaged over it, that's never coming off of there now. So anyway, just kind of a little added bonus there, kind of adds to the mojo, but there we go. So then the other thing I did to commemorate Texas would burn some stars up and down the neck. And uh, that's about the size of it, guys. This is a really fun build. Um, I had a lot of fun building it, and it actually plays amazing. I'd really like to hold on to it, but nope, this is going to Bob, so watch for his video when he receives it, and I'll be doing a video when I receive Steve's build. Actually, you'll have already seen it by the time this one goes, and this was just really fun to participate in this three-way build-off, so I'll play you out with a little sound sample. 